Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are going to compare fractions using common denominators. This is one way that we can use to compare fractions. Let's do this. So we're going to talk about least common multiple, common denominators, and then comparing fractions when we have common denominators. Least common multiple. To find the least common multiple of two numbers, like 4 and 5, you would start by listing the multiples of those numbers. Multiples mean you are multiplying, so the multiples of 5 are 5 times 1, 5 times 2, 5 times 3. And so we'll just list them out there, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Now we're going to do the same thing with 4. What are the multiples of 4? 4 times 1, 4 times 2, 4 times 3 etc. So those are the multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. I just listed a couple of them um, because you can stop as soon as you find one multiple that is the same. In this case 20 is the same. It's the lowest multiple that is the same on both lists. So what I recommend you do is to list one of the list of multiples and then start the next list and stop as soon as you come to one that's common. That's it. All right, let's practice. What I want you to do, pause the recording. Try and find the least common multiple of 6 and 15. Go. Hi, welcome back. The steps for finding the least common multiple are to list the multiples. So we'll start with 6. I just listed out a bunch of the multiples. 6 times 1, times 2, times 3, times 4. Um, now I'm going to list the multiples of 15. 15 times 1, 15 times 2, and I stop because I found a common multiple, 30. All right, once you get good at this, you might not need to list as many multiples in your first list as the second one. You might start recognizing ones that are common. All right, so that's the basics of finding the lowest common multiple or the least common multiple. When you're trying to find common denominators, you are finding the least common multiple of the denominators. Pretty straightforward. So the denominator is the number on the bottom of the fraction. So what we're trying to do is find the lowest or the least common multiple of 5 and 8. Can you do it? Go ahead and list the multiples of 5. 5 times 1 times 2 times 3, etc. List the multiples of 8. 8 times 1, 8 times 2, 8 times 3. Stop when you come to a common multiple. In this case, 40. 40 is the common multiple of 5 and 8. Step number 2 is that we need to convert the fractions so that they have the same denominator. To do this, it's really helpful to have this list of multiples here because we have to ask ourselves, our denominator 5 times what gives us 40? 5 times what gives us 40? Again, you can refer back to this list times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 5 times 8 gives me 40, if that helps you to remember. Um, so what we're going to do when you convert a fraction is that you multiply the top and bottom times the same number. That's where the number comes from. 5 times 8 gives me 40. So now I've converted the fraction to having the denominator of 40. And you also have to remember to multiply the numerator 2 times 8 to get 16. Go ahead and try and convert this 7 out of 8 to having a denominator of 40. In the steps, you're going to say 8 times what gives me 40. 8 times 5 is 40. So I multiply the top and bottom times 5. And my fraction is now 35 over 40. Notice how I've been able to convert both fractions to having a denominator of 40. I said 30? I meant 40. All right, having a denominator of 40. Do the same thing. Let's go ahead and do this one more time. We're going to find the least common denominator by finding the least common multiples of 6 and 4. Go ahead and try that one on your own. What is that least common multiple? You'll list the multiples of 6. Then you'll list the multiples of 4 and stop when you have a common multiple. 
The common multiple in this case is 12. So I'm going to convert the fractions so they both have a denominator of 12. I can do that by saying 6 times what equals 12? Well, 6 times 2 is 12, so I'm going to multiply the top and bottom of this fraction times 2. That gives me 2 out of 12. I'm going to do the same thing with 1 fourth. 4 times what equals 12? Well, 4 times 3 is 12, so I'm going to multiply the top and bottom times 3 to give me 3 out of 12. So now I've converted both of the fractions. 1 sixth is equal to 2 over 12. 1 fourth is equal to 3 over 12. That's how you convert fractions to having the same denominator. Now the third part of this lesson is comparing fractions. To compare fractions, what you need to do is find the lowest common multiple of the denominators, make the fractions have that common denominator, and then you just compare the numerators. If the, if the denominators are the same, the numerators comparing them, you'll be able to see which fraction is, is larger. So let's do that. Let's compare 4 fifths and 5 sevenths and see which one of these is larger. I'm going to do the same steps I've been doing in all of these problems. Find my least common multiple of 5 and 7. I'm going to write out the multiples of 5, write out the multiples of 7 until I find one that's common, 35. Now I'm going to convert both fractions to having a denominator of 35. Then I can compare them, or if I was asked to fill in the blank, 4 out of 5 is what out of 35? I'd be able to do the same thing, because I'm converting the fraction to having a denominator of 35. 5 times what is 35? 5 times 7. So I multiply the bottom and the top times 7. So 4 out of 5 is equal to 28 out of 35. All right. Still doesn't, don't know if it's larger or smaller than 5 sevenths, so I have to go over here and do the same thing. 7 times what gives me 35? Well, 7 times 5 is 35. Multiply the top and bottom times the same number, and I find that it is equal to 25 out of 35. Now I can compare the fractions. Again, if you were asked um, 5 out of 7 equals what out of 35, you'd do the same thing. Right? Just make sure that you're multiplying the top and bottom of a fraction times the same number, and you can convert between them. Okay, That's kind of the first step. But when we're asked to compare these fractions, 28 out of 35, 25 out of 35, we know this one is larger. Okay, 28 is larger than 25, so therefore 4 fifths is larger than 5 sevenths. And that's how you can compare fractions using the this method of finding the same denominators. It's also good to be able to find common denominators because you're going to need that skill when you're adding and subtracting fractions in the future. So just a quick recap on comparing fractions. You find the least common multiple, convert the fractions to having the same denominators, and then you can use that to compare fractions. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.